You know you're at a patriotic place when there's decorative munitions at the cemetery. Hey, Wonder Hussy here, in the most patriotic town in the entire USA. I'm not kidding, they really love the USA here. And more than that, they really love the military. <laughs> so if you have a fetish for bombs, tanks, troops, or the American flag, book your trip to Hawthorne now and enjoy the gentle flapping of the biggest American flag I've ever seen. Why is Hawthorne so gosh darn patriotic? Well, it happens to be home to the world's largest ammo depot. That's right, they store tons and tons of munitions all over the place out here. As you drive into town, the desert landscape on either side of the highway is dotted with these creepy half underground bunker type munitions storage buildings. It's like some kind of creepy post-apocalyptic hobbit town. I mean, these storage buildings are friggin' everywhere. And then there's these railroad tracks that I guess are used when they bring in, well, munitions by rail from places all over the country. I mean, <laughs> Hawthorne really is munitions central. Now, you may have actually already heard of Hawthorne as it was unfortunately in the news back in 2013 when there was a terrible training accident. Uh, I guess a, some Marines were training with a mortar and it blew up and killed seven of them and seriously injured another eight. Well, there's a monument to it here in this park. In fact, the whole park is dedicated to veterans, but there's a, there's a special monument right here just dedicated to the Marines who died in that mortar explosion. But yeah, this whole park is dedicated to veterans. In fact, they have these boulders engraved with the names of all the local guys who died in World War II, the Vietnam War, Korean War, the Global War on Terrorism. And look here, this is kind of interesting. This is the flag that was flown over the US Capitol in Washington, DC, uh, right when that horrible accident happened and all those Marines died. And now they have it folded up properly in a case, guarded by an eagle. There's even decorative anti-aircraft guns and these whimsical whirly gigs made out of bombs. <laughs> I've never seen war look so whimsical. It's like Hobby Lobby financed a war and sold shares of it on Etsy. But it's not just the park that's dedicated to veterans. Even on your way into town on the highway, the highway is marked with signs dedicating segments of the road to veterans of World War I. Veterans of World War II, Veterans of the Cold War, Veterans of the Korean War, Veterans of the Vietnam War, Veterans of the Persian Gulf War, and finally to Veterans of the Global War on Terrorism. Sounds more like a bank than a war. Anyway, you can't walk two blocks in Hawthorne without running into some kind of jingoism. I mean, even the friggin' local bar is all red, white, and blue. My sister and I actually came here once and had drinks when we were staying at a motel in town and it was actually a super cool place. Um, we hung out at the bar and talked to a bunch of locals. In fact, we were talking to this really cool black couple that had lived here for like 40 years, despite the fact that I guess when they first met, they couldn't even go into the casino here in town because at the time it was segregated, but apparently they didn't hold that against Hawthorne because they end up getting married and while well, living here for several decades. I think because they both worked at the munitions depot. Now, speaking of munitions, one of the most interesting places here in Hawthorne is the Hawthorne Ordnance Museum. It's right on Main Street, so you can stop in anytime and, well, spend some quality time with your favorite ordnance. <laughs> 
like the Bunker Buster or the Penetrator Bomb under sea mines. Uh-oh, bomb cart crossing. <laughs> and let's not forget these anti-aircraft guns. Holy cannoli. How about this one? Rock your world. We'll light up your world like the 4th of July. Remember that Toby Keith song? We'll put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. <laughs> anyway, this museum is a trip. Apologies it's so loud, but like I said, it's right on the main highway. And apologies the light's so harsh, but hey, that's just the time of day I'm here. But as you can see, the whole front area of this museum is just full of ordnance. And there's also an inside. Now, unfortunately, the museum is closed right now because of the coronavirus directed by Nevada Governor Sissy Lack, as I've heard some true patriots refer to him. But if it was open, we could go inside and see all this amazing ordnance. Darn, look at all them bullets. I'm getting aroused just looking at it all. There she is, boys. That's what we're fighting for. Well, it's a bummer we can't go in the museum, but hey, that's okay. There's still plenty more ordnance and other stuff we can look at right outside. Is that a case of suppositories? Or are you just happy to start a war with me? Yikes, look at the face on that. Jeepers creepers. Sure wouldn't want to run across any of these. Well, how about these undersea mines? This is the stuff that's floating in Walker Lake. If you watch my Walker Lake video, it's one of the reasons you're not supposed to swim in the water. So there's all these unexploded munitions, like these undersea mines, I guess, floating in the lake. But for sure, the piece de resistance here at the Hawthorne Ordnance Museum is this, well, giant tank. And unfortunately, the sun is directly behind it. So I don't know if you can see it that well, but I don't know anything about tanks, but it's a tank. And what's more, they not only don't discourage you from climbing on it, well, they just kind of tell you to be careful and climb on tank at your own risk. Now that's America. Nothing more American than the fear of litigation, huh? But for realsies, you can just climb up on this tank and pose for all kinds of pictures and no telling what kind of drunk people have probably hung from that thing at the end there. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of those abandoned tanks I explored in Dixie Valley. If you watched that video that I made a couple years ago, there's this amazing area in Nevada with a bunch of abandoned tanks you can just climb around on and in. It was pretty cool. But this is pretty cool too. <laughs> Unfortunately, unlike Dixie Valley, you can't climb in this one. It's padlocked shut. Anyway, like I said, if all them brothels aren't doing it for you, and what you need is a wargasm, then plan a stop in Hawthorne next time you're traveling through Nevada. Or if you're like me, just keep your head down, keep your nose clean, stick to the speed limit, fill your tank, and get the heck out of town as fast as you can before you get blown up or arrested. Yikes.